Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Leo Bay campaign. This is episode 2. We pick it up from turn 14 in the harvest season of 185. So last episode, we ended over here outside of Bohai's fishing port. Uh, we are still trying to work through our early missions where we are regionless. Uh, our current mission is Hanfu Calls for Aid, so we have to sneak our way back towards Bohai's small city. Things are getting a little tricky now because the yellow turbans are in full effect, so we just have to avoid them. Uh, there is a curious development though, after loading up the game here. Our salary situation, or not salary, our treasury situation is doing a lot better. Uh, it's actually positive uh, by quite a bit. We ended the episode yesterday with negative. Um, I tried to look this up. Um, the only theory I have is it was a bug. Uh, that it should have been positive all along, perhaps, uh, because we have our 1,500 from our in uh, family estate. It should be the standard 2,000, but we have the poor background, so we lose out 25%. So we're at uh, 15 here, and then we get 606 from the empire. This is just through Liu Hong gathering up 80% of the income from all empire members and redistributing it after giving it a bonus. So even if we don't have this uh, empire salary here with 15, we should be positive every turn because our unit upkeep is super cheap right now uh, given our regionless 50% bonus plus the 50% we have on uh, the Liu Bei's background of uh, militia infantry. So Zhang Fei and Guoyin's army are free. Liu Bei's army has the two cavalry unit that's 70 each and then 74 from the E marksman. Uh, Lu Fan has two trebuchets running at 280 together, uh, half price. Uh, the character salaries was what I thought was bankrupting us. So unless this got stealth nerfed, but even then, uh, with five characters, how could we get a thousand? It was like negative 100 something. So it wouldn't be a thousand gold swing. So I feel like it must have been a glitch. That was draining our economy earlier on. Uh, but I'm glad it's positive now. Don't have to worry about that as much. And we can also recruit uh, generals uh, that we want. Uh, so first off, we have two new people at our court. Uh, wife potential here. Oh, very, very good wife potential here. She has all the good traits except for understanding. She's ambitious though. So that could be a little difficult. But we could make her our heir, then the desire for higher office would go away. She's be- ooh, this is a killer. This is a killer. We don't like losing satisfaction as Liu Bei. Who did she work for before? Liu Hong. Okay. I mean, everything looks great except for her traits, which is something we can't change. We'd rather have someone with good traits and we can slowly develop their skills. So, nope. Do we need another strategist? Well, another food producing strategist that could be a, a administrator that gives plus 5% attrition to hostile forces and also 10 morale when defending. These are all excellent administrator traits. And she has good administrative. Okay, so I think I would like to recruit her and just stash her. Worked for Zhang Yan, who can't spy yet, because he's a lower rank. But she's... The only thing that's slightly negative about her is she's rank 3. Uh, but she's 20 years old. Very young as well. Hmm. I kind of want to recruit her. Ooh, he has a bronze item. If we were a little richer, I would snatch that. But we are not. I'll rather grab her. Yeah, I'm planning ahead for a lot of these administrators. We already have him sitting on our bench, doing the same role. Yeah, but let's grab her as well since we have more income now. She's also married. What's with all these married characters? Alright, let's get back to our mission at hand. Uh, we're gonna sneak back into the forest on our side, or Lu Zhi's side. And Guan Yu will trail right behind. Oh, 
Okay, we're stuck in the circle. So what we're gonna do is what I mentioned before. We're gonna siege and then break siege. That way we're out of the circle. And we can move. All right, we're just gonna stick next to our brothers. Uh, someone did mention that Zhang Fei could be a better reach candidate because he can get flexibility, but I don't want to go down this route, right? If we went here and then leveled up over here, then we have to twist right back. And the skill I really want is over here, and I don't want to abandon these two. I don't want to pick up these two. These two are wasted, so I'd much rather go this way and let him follow Guan Yu, who has flexibility already. So leading it right away, he already has the 5% uh, replenishment on him. Anyways, um, that's it. We can't do much uh, until we uh, finish these missions. They're supposed to give us some free territory at the end, so let's see how it goes. All right, friends stick together. Uh, Liu Bei and Lu Fan are making friends. Good for them. Let's get our mission triggered. Alright, so we got a thousand gold and it seems like a looter army has been summoned. Uh, we can't reach it. Guan Yu can reach it. How strong is this? Cavalry, archers, not terribly strong. We want to be able to reinforce but we can't because the city is blocking us. So Guan Yu just have to solo this, which is fine. Our generals are more than capable of soloing this. And they won't trigger any help from the city either. Um, we're definitely gonna fight this on the battlefield uh, just because uh, I don't want to take medium casualties, but I'm probably gonna cut it out to save us some time because there's no one interesting to duel either. So let's jump in here, see you guys at the end. Alrighty, we just went Dynasty Warrior mode on them. Uh, look at how many uh, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei has killed. We left him on the field so we could try to recruit him. He, let's see, not worth our time. We'll just release for more gold. We're kind of short on cash. We'll get more gold and unity. And we got our mission done. Alright, what's our next quest? Do we not have another mission? We'll see. We'll see after next turn. Uh, our economy's back to negative. Why? Right. So our family estate dropped to 500. Is this correct? That's the question. I know we're the shoemaker, but the standard family estate is 2,000. And Liu Bei has the poor background, so it's minus 25%. So that should be only minus 500. So we should have a thousand five hundred, like we did last turn. But somehow the game is only giving us just five hundred. So that's unfortunate. Hmm. There must there's no other explanation here. I don't think we have any other debuff on our family state value. Anyways, we'll we'll tolerate this. We'll be okay. Uh, let's continue. I want to see what other missions we might get. Okay, this is a tough situation. So they marched the army back to fight Guan Yu. We could just retreat. I don't want to mess with these bringers of peace in the garrison. They're unbreakable. That's pretty much all I had to say. This army is nothing to be scared of. Uh, well, spearman gains are decent, but these peasant volunteers are basically non-existent and archer gains are non-existent in front of our general. Guan Hai, uh, Guan Hai, um, not that strong. Faction error. Yeah, we'll just retreat for now. Alright, Ma Teng declares war on looters. We're not giving, we're not being given any other mission, which is tempting me to find my own home. Hmm. He's an interesting character. I don't want I don't want to risk the ambitious nature here. Even though we get 5% from all sources and plus 2 public. No, that doesn't go to administrator. That's a leadership trait. Okay, we'll skip him. 
So we're not given any other mission. We could migrate at this point if we want. We still have our regionless bonus. We can pick our own home. Zhang Liang is over here. Zhang Bao is over here. Zhang Jiao is over here. Zhang Jiao is not expanding hard enough. If he's all the way over here, we would like to start out here. But Liu Yu is over there. Lu Zhi. Okay, let's see where other yellow turbans are. Huang Shao is in Yinchuan. Okay, interesting start location for him. Let's look at it through diplomacy to see what land we can actually take. Hmm. We could go grab that trade port, but it will probably stop Zhang Jiao's advance towards Liu Yu. We could also grab Dai. And also grab the horse pasture. Mm. Let me think. Yu Bei Ping. This is a good starting position just because once we have the trade port, we have access to more trade partners. And then we'll just let Liu Yu keep Liu Xi until the empire dissolves. And plus, Yu Beiping technically is uh, modern day Beijing. And that's where I'm from, so we could do that. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's move Guan Yu's army first, because he's kind of out of place right now. Let's see how far he can get. We can march this army. They don't need to really replenish here. They're not going to reach anywhere where they can replenish, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go here. Liu Bei can just follow behind. Alright, and we'll head over to Yobe Ping because it seems like we're not given any other missions. So, let's continue. Our unity is actually dropping from characters. That's not good. Lack of purpose. So, if that's the case, we need to... We can't recruit in this stance. We could recruit here. We could put Miju out just to keep him happy. We don't want these sad faces in our pool down there and his units are still free for now so it doesn't hurt us all right let's continue i don't think yet yeah, we're not hiring him yeah we're really not getting any more missions it seems like the mission chain kind of broke down after han fu's death and also uh ping yuan got taken a little bit unfortunate, but I don't mind the regionless. It allows us to uh, explore, uh, explore quite a bit. It seems like Zhang Jiao's main force is over here. He might actually finish off Liu Yu, so that's really good. Uh, because then we can take all of the north. But first, we're going to peek out over here. We'll stay on this side first just to see what's over there. Probably no armies. Yep, okay. So they can go back... We can't reach it. Uh, we can reach it together next turn. We can get a turn of healing in together. We'll start our journey here in Yobei Ping, and then we'll shrink down our army to about one army, um, so that we can um, save some cost. And we probably don't need two in the beginning. We'll see. Maybe we'll keep two. Uh, it's nice to have all the generals on the field. We could just get rid of some of these retinues at that point. Let's continue with our reform picking. Uh, we could start planning for trade routes, but we're so close to replenishment boost here that I feel like we should just go for it. Let's get this. So 10 turn commitment here. Yeah, if we don't get it now, we're never gonna get it. So let's go for it. 
he has an inn building here and a marketplace. If he has a forge anywhere, it would be really, really good for us. I hope he builds a forge somewhere here. Anyways, uh, that's it. We can't do much. We gotta wait one more turn to get our first piece of land. Let's continue. Alrighty, uh, new turn. We're gonna get Liu Bei's army to start the siege because they have the tribuches. Uh, Liu Yu's still alive. Now we could just fight this, but I'm gonna give them some experience too, so I'm just gonna pull them up closer. There we go. And we'll get this fight started. Uh, we'll definitely fight this to save casualties, um, but probably not going to show it. It's just going to be us throwing rocks at their uh, town. So, see you guys then. Alrighty, we got our first piece of land. Let's occupy here. Ready for a very negative economy. Alright, we got a recruit. Okay, now it's 370. That's not as bad as I thought. Oh, because the unit upkeep haven't refreshed. We still have a regionless faction for this turn. It's not displaying it, but it should be very negative uh, when we get it done here. House of Scrolls. Uh, tax collection. We need to convert this. It costs us money to convert to a tax collection, then we're gonna just demolish and rebuild it. I don't wanna pay 300 for a tax collection. Yeah, we get money for refunding it too. We'll keep this for now. It is providing us 50 income. Uh, we could obviously want to uh, get rid of it or convert it, uh, but right now we will keep it because we can't build anything. Actually, we can convert this. Then we'll get 110 income. Okay, that's probably the best way to do this. Uh, and then we need to uh, re-outfit our army real quick. Uh, we're going to go for flexibility. So say goodbye to all these units real quick. Zhang Fei is going to go unitless. So our second army, the whole purpose is going to be having strong generals to be our front line. And our first army will just be all ranged. Uh, most efficient form of attack here in the beginning and archers are just super cheap um, so say goodbye to these guys we're gonna just swap uh, the question is do I want Liu Bei to have retinues or not probably we probably still want Liu Bei to have retinues alright then let's start swapping these. The cavalry, yeah, cavalry's good, but our generals are basically cavalry. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, let's call these two guys. And we're gonna give him archers too. And we're gonna make Lu Fan lead this army because he has precision. So we'll get extra firing rate on all our units. And we have Night Battle from uh, Mi Zhu and Wisdom of the River. And next level, he's going to pick up Reach, so this army can move faster too. This is just a temporary solution. Uh, we have extra flexibility, so things are cheaper. We could recruit someone who's uh, beginning to be unhappy, uh, so that they don't cause any um, unity issues for us. So we could grab her out here as well. Although he would be more useful just because he's a champion. He can fight. Uh, but he could die too because he's only level 1. Hmm. Maybe we'll just grab her. Zhao Hong. Oh, he's the new character we got. Right. Let's see how he is. He is 35 years old. Visor. Careless. Stuart. Okay, he's useless. Say goodbye. No items, right? No items. Okay. Save us a little gold to get rid of him. I'm tempted to get rid of her too, even though she does have a potential to be a good administrator. Right, she has even better potential than him, technically. Actually, I like both of them. Alright, we're keeping them. Um, 
We can get an administrator soon as well. Assuming we'll rank up eventually. Okay, so let's be patient here. We got our first piece of land. Our unit upkeep is gonna go crazy next turn. This 500 is bothering me. It shouldn't be this way. Uh, but let's see. Can we get a trade route with anyone? Yes, we can. Great. Chen Gui. Ah, you captured Bohai. Good for you. Uh, let's negotiate the deal. You're also willing to pay us money. That's just wonderful. Uh, probably 30? Of course, the... There we go. Alright, can we sell any of these? Zhang Yan. Pay us some money, please. Ooh. There we go. Anyone else? Oh, okay. Military access. This is a big deal here. Point nine. Okay. Nobody liked you. Tao Tian, how about you? Good friend. I knew I could count on you. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's still anything counts right now. Being the shoemaker really hurts us. Dong Zhuo, you're rich. Yeah, at least until the mandate war is still going on, we're probably not gonna do anything to our empire partners, so they're gonna be a good source of income for us for now. Our neighbor to the south. Oh, you're not only a trade partner, but you're also generous. It's probably 110. Oh, 112. Getting greedy here. Yep, 111. Oh, Emperor. Right, your economy is down the drain, but you have a huge cash pool. That I know. 306, 304, 302, 300? Oh my god, come on. What's your magic number here? Okay, I'll take that. Cao Song? Okay. Cao Cao's dad. Thought you would be rich. Stingy, just like the emperor. Uh, Zhang Yan's also added to this list now, but he's not willing to pay. Sun Jian. Uh, we'll take whatever cash you have on hand. Beggars can't be choosers. Wow, that's actually a lot of gold. That's actually about the same amount that the emperor paid us. Tiao you survived in Dong. I'm I'm shocked. There we go. Yeah, these two can't pay us anything, so we're good. And I'm sure no one wants to unify with us. So we have our first piece of land, and despite suffering through only 500 family inheritance, we managed to diplomacy our way extra 600 gold to get us uh, staying afloat. Although our units should be a massive hit on it next turn as well, so can't do much about it. I'm just hoping that Liu Yu gets finished off so we can take over all this land. Uh, so let's continue here.
All right, Yellow Turban Rebellion, Liu Pi died. Oh, he was friendly to us. Uh, Han Sui declare war on looter. Yeah, Liu Pi was the um, Yellow Turban leader in um, Nanyang region, uh, Runan, uh, Runan region, uh, during the Battle of Guandu, much later on. Uh, he was with Gongdu and he worked with Liu Bei. That's when Guan Yu was working for Cao Cao and uh, they came back to meet up. So Zhang Jiao did the job, finished off Liu Yu's faction. This is their surviving army here. Um, let's negotiate some deals with him because he has 10k sitting here. Does he want to unify with us at this point? That would be interesting. Oh, he has territory. Never mind. I thought I was going to take advantage of this poor guy, but no, we're not. Okay, so we're going to start cutting off Zhang Jiao from the rest of his land. Uh, our other flank is protected by Tao Tian's army and Chen Gui's army, so we're going to just take this iron mine here. We're going to siege them with our tribuchet. Obviously, we can just fight this as is, but I want Guan Yu and Zhang Fei to participate as well. So we're going to drag them over as well. And this should give us a bit of income. It's level 2 at least, so it's at least 200 gold per turn. Uh, judging by the garrison size. Although yellow turban garrisons are a little different from regular uh, faction garrisons. Uh, once again, we're going to just cut this out. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Our arrows blocked out the sun. They were no match. Uh, we'll grab this. Let's see how much income. Yeah, it's a tier 2, so that's good. 200 gold eventually, once the uh, faction support dies down. Uh, Fervor is going to be a big issue here uh, as we continue with this campaign. Uh, because we're deep in Yellow Turban territory, so we got to spend some time to get rid of it. I don't know which route Zhang Jiao will take coming back towards us. So we have to be careful when making this branching path choice here. We could wait for him a little bit. Now, as our fervor won't die down, we'll get a rebellion soon, which is perfectly fine because that's what I want. Uh, I want a rebellion. We don't have any assignment slots? Wow. Okay. Uh, Zhang Fate, we're going to continue to build the top row. We're going straight for Blazing Roar. Trying to get it as quickly as possible. Um, formations. Not really useful in this army, but we're getting the plus four authority here. I'm going to give this to Zhang Fei. Zhang, one of the weakness of Zhang Fei as a character is that he has um, bad morale in general. So he routes quite easily once taking some damage. So you can either fix this by giving him more health or giving him more authority for better morale. Um, that's about it. I think we're just going to hover here and wait to see what happens with Zhang Jiao. Uh, our economy is barely staying afloat. Uh, our unit upkeep has reflected itself uh, to, to update itself after being not regionless here. So we're at about a thousand. Uh, not too bad. Character salary is also about a thousand. Uh, we're paying Liu Hong 191. This is 80% of our um, total income. And he's giving us uh, a part of that back, so it's fine. We're also absorbing. We're one of the smaller factions, so we're actually getting more money back uh, than we're contributing here, so that's fine. We have one trade route. We can definitely work towards more trade routes. Uh, but I'm still confused about why we have 500 uh faction income here oh actually i'm not confused anymore because we're a shoemaker that's right that's right okay we figured it out so we get additional 50 percent uh subtraction from family estate this is on top of the fact we're poor so we go from 2000 all the way down to 500 so we need to get to noble really quickly that way we'll get a thousand income back right away so we need 17 more prestige uh, we can either save up unity but we're about a hundred more than a hundred points away and our characters are not happy enough to give us uh, more unity points they're actually losing unity points uh, five characters so all five of these uh, orange or yellow faces here the gold faces 
are losing us um, quite a bit of uh, unity here. So we're not gaining unity right now. Hmm. How do we get them to be happy? It's very hard. We need an heir. We need a, we need a wife who has high authority as well. That's what we need. We can also summon him. That'll give him 20 more points. He'll be 55. And then we also, if we make, okay, so I think we'll spend a little bit of gold. It's rivalry is fine. Rivalry can create offensive bonuses here. So that's not going to cost us anything. Okay. All right. We'll just keep him on the field. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a switching here. We're gonna give this to Liu Bei, so he has more authority. Hopefully one more satisfaction point. Nope, at least we tried. And then we're gonna give the instinct over to whoever is least happiest here. Okay, so we're gonna give it to him. He's at 40, but 40 is still orange. So we should actually give it to Guan Yu. That way we move him to green. That way we, he doesn't decrease anymore. How could you not like us, brother? I know we're not paying you anything, but... Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, we'll try to keep things afloat here as we capture the rest of this. Once we rank up, things should be much better. So, let's continue. Uh, do we have a building? Ah, uh, we can't afford this. Pass. Alright, new turn. Uh, Jin Xuan has died. Uh, Jin Yan. Or his daughter, I guess, or yeah, probably his daughter since they have the same surname has taken over. Uh, we have not got Zhao Yun in this campaign, which is a bit sad. Um, hopefully, he'll return to us through fondness. He might have joined another faction. Uh, Zhang Bao here has retaken the port, ruined our trade route, so it's suspended because his faction is still alive. If we get a trade port, I think it'll be active again. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull back to here. Leave the option open for us to defend here if he comes north or for us to start going towards the trade port because we need uh, the trade port. Actually, we can send Guan Yu out ahead to scout. This army might be able to even take the trade port by themselves if there's no garrison. Okay, there's a small army here, so we do need help. All right, not much to do. We just got to wait. Uh, let's continue here. Oh, their army chased out uh, to attack Guan Yu's army. Uh, that's actually very foolish of them because we can retreat and they are no longer defending inside the trade port. All right, sparring partner Lu Fan and Liu Bei is just increasing relationship all the time. Um, well, she backtracked, so good for her. What we can do is siege with Guan Yu and then put this unit on march and then they'll be able to reinforce and then we can take this in one turn and starve out here. Alright, Zhang Zhao's army is right above us. Uh, scary looking army. Lots of units with shield which is not great against our army here. But we're going to march over there. We're going to take this trade port first. We need trade back on. So that's not negotiable here. Alright. We'll fight this. Um, we'll also cut this out. We'll save the big show against Zhang Jiao. Alrighty. It wasn't a clean fight uh, because they just rushed out of the city and our reinforcements a little slow because the tribuchet is there. Uh, but we still did it. Uh, let's occupy here. Alright, that was the Yellow Turban leader. I left both generals alive on the field hoping to get their items, but we didn't get it. Uh, it's fine. Uh, they were very well equipped. Um, Zhang Zhao's army could come attack us this turn. So... But that's if um, they stay on march. So I don't think they can actually reach this army. So we're just going to stand here 
Uh, we can't do much. I wanted them to be close enough to reinforce each other. And we're going to get a rebellion here soon. Uh, we are completely wrecking the public order here. This is not really our concern. If we lose the iron mine, we lose the iron mine. I don't want to lose the trade port. We're going to be just using this cheap income source right now. And um, that's it. We're going to probably have to decide what to do. Which location to defend once this army moves. Uh, she's really unhappy with us. But she's the only one. I mean, we are going to get an administrator eventually. Uh, winter season. What we could do is rush for a small city this turn. And then pick up this reform right here next turn during spring. Get administrator position. Put her in as the administrator. That way she will be happy. And we'll get an extra unit defending the city. But it will eat up pretty much all our income. Because we have to build this and then rush six turns. Which I don't even know if we have enough money to do that. So that's probably out of the window here. Probably just going to do this for now. Uh, definitely a humble start. We can also just fire her. It would save us money. She doesn't really provide much. She's an excellent candidate. Just All of these are useful. Yeah, it would be a shame to just waste her. Yeah, let's be patient. We're getting more prestige as we go on. Five points. We're, we're close. Twelve more points. After we capture both of these, we should be good. But before then, we just have to swallow our pride here. Uh, let's continue. Alright, so, uh, new turn. Development is Zhang Jiao decided to go towards Yuzhou. Um So, the easy solution is actually to trade Yuzhou to Taotian. And then we'll let Zhang Jiao do whatever he wants to Yu Beiping if he, uh, he wants to destroy that. Uh, we can definitely just uh, get Liao Xi first. Because that's definitely more worthwhile for us. If we have a secure uh, rear... This town is really attractive here. Uh, let's first check diplomacy. The trade is back on. That's wonderful. We could get more money from uh, these people here, but let's not do that right away. Okay. I want the town first, and then the toolmaker. It's a level 2 tool maker, so 200 gold. Alright, let's grab the town. There shouldn't be any um, garrisons here. So I think we could actually delegate... Oh no, there is a unit there. Ooh. Didn't see this. Okay, so starve them out for now. And we'll run our army behind alright before we lose more men in this fight we're gonna get the best deal we can with Taotian we're gonna give him oh, we don't want it his land we want to give him our iron mine we can't give him our large town because that's our capital so we just have to lose it if uh, Zhang Ziao decides to take it uh, nothing we can do about that and we're going to try to extract as much wealth as we can with him. <laughs> this would be st story driven, wouldn't it? If we can unify with him. Um, but right now, I'm just interested in gold. 725, okay. So, probably a mix of both. Alright, jumping by 0. 0.6 now. Actually, we can jump a couple more 0. 0.6. That's 0.8, that's too big. Alright, we'll take cash for the rest. There we go. Now that's his problem. And hopefully Zhang Ziao can take this and go there. Then they're all my problem later. Alright, let's grab Liao Xi. 
We're the king of the northeast after this. Uh, we're gonna be... Yeah, just jump into this fight. We'll just cut it out as well. Not super interesting here. Let's start. Alrighty. We secure ourselves our corner home. And yeah, let's occupy here. Alrighty, so let's see, what did they build here? They built a uh, state workshop and an inn. Both excellent buildings. Both need to be converted over. Uh, this one needs to be converted over first because you get more income by converting this. This one can wait forever because it um, doesn't really matter much until we want to upgrade this. Then by converting it, you get 10% discount on that building. Uh, but it does cost us 525 to convert, so got to consider that cost there. We just need to grab Liaoxi. And then uh, we'll have at least these three commanderies here. This one's not really safe. Uh, we'll see if we can keep Yo Ping as our capital, depending on what Zhang Zhao wants to do, whether he hates us more or hate uh, Tao Tian more. Uh, I'm guessing us, but we'll see. We get to pick a new reform. Uh, we can get another trade route here, but we've been meaning to go this way, so we might as well commit ourselves. Uh, the trade route will definitely help us, uh, our economy bounce back, also upgrade the port a little bit higher, but. Right now, we're so close uh, to replenish, but we might as well go for it. And we can still make money in diplomacy, even without trade route. Because we can get ourselves some um, good deals in terms of military access. They want to tour the northeast. They can come free. I guess, I guess per turn's not that... No, I think he'll pay us more uh, flat payment here. Yep, he will definitely pay us more flat payment here. There we go. Alright, who else want to pay us? Did you change your mind? 1.0. I mean, it beats nothing, so... Liu Biao. Forty-three. Oh, come on, give us forty-three. All right, rounding doesn't work here. We'll just do it manually. A little bit of lag there. Here we go. Anyone else? Receive marriage. Lady Lu, 636, no, we'll pass, we'll pass, we'll just, we just want your military access. We do need to find ourselves a wife though, right, we lost a little bit of gold there, it's okay. Tall tall, 10.5. I mean, I'm surprised, but I'll take it. So committed to helping us become a, a force here. Oh, it seems like Koron's on the map. I see him in Beihai. All right, I think that's good. Uh, we could look for a wife ourselves if we really wanted to. Um, who has a daughter? Yuan Shu should have a daughter. Ah, she haven't come of age yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna be just wrapping up over here. Let's go to next turn. Yep, Zhang Zhao definitely hates us more. Uh, I'm not even going to try to defend this. It's just impossible task. Zhang Zhao has a reinforcement army from Zhang Bao as well. So they can just have it. We're going to shift our capital to Liaoxi and work our way down. So let's delegate this fight. Alright, Chen Gui has got destroyed, I think. Alright, so we need this army to catch a breath. Uh, they've been on march this whole time, they can't replenish. 
So we're actually going to wait a turn before we take uh, the tool maker here. We're going to move them over here. Let them replenish up a little bit. And then we'll take Lao Si uh, next turn. Uh, Guan Yu's army will definitely follow them. Um, Yu Bei Ping is under threat eventually, the trade port, but it's a bit far for them. It's at least two turns. So once we get here, even if they come down to here, it'll be fine. We won't uh, upgrade it for now just in case we lose it. And then we're going to start developing uh, this commandery right here. Um, what we're probably going to need to do is definitely upgrade this to a small city. So we're going to just, yeah, let's just get started here. We'll keep these the same for now. We might be able to delegate a win with just our three generals. Let's check if that's possible. That could speed up things for us. Right, heroic victory. Wonderful. So we're just going to delegate this. Alright. Occupy. And we're going to recall them to heal them. Because I'm pretty sure they're injured. Oh, but we can't recall all three. Right. If we recall all three, we lose our army limit. So we're going to keep the healthiest one, Guan Yu, on the field. And we're going to recall Zhang Fei and uh, Zhao Zhi uh, to come back and heal. Right. Guan Yu has to stay. And then we'll uh, put them back in next turn. So we can actually go as far as we can here. The replenishment is not going to change. And then we're going to head down here uh, to help out defend here. Because I think Zhang Jiao, since he hates us the most, he might not even attack the Iron Mine. He might just come after us. So we'll see how that goes. Um, over here, we're just upgrading the commandery. Uh, rebellion is going to happen soon, but we can't really divert any manpower for that right now. She might leave us eventually. No, she'll stay at 5, and then she'll stay there. Okay. Yeah, we've been committed to her the whole way. We might as well stick to her for now. Yeah, we can't do much. Um, Guan Yu gained Defiant. Okay, not a bad trait. Diplomacy. No, we can't do much. Uh, let's just continue. All right, Jing Yan died too. Oh, that's the regent. Okay, she didn't die. It's just a re. No, 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 no. This is a regent. She died as well. Okay. Impactful argument. So we argued with her, and she actually liked us more. Okay, great. Uh, that solves a big issue for us. Uh, stabilize her a little bit so we don't lose as many unity points. Sima Fang, okay. Sima Yi's dad. Now, just because we hire him doesn't mean we'll get Sima Yi. It'd be nice if that happens, though. It'd be like Sima Yi is still coming of age, and you grab the dad, and the son comes with him. Lord of Sources, Song Jian. Wow, that's actually a pretty good bonus. Melee damage for all shock cavalry. Bian Zhang's faction. I've never seen this uh, Lord of Sources background before. Uh, not a good administrator though, so we're gonna pass. Okay, we're gonna pass. Sima Yang Xue. Hmm. Liu Hong's faction. Alright, we'll pass on her as well. We can check their items too in the court screen just to make sure we're passing on the right candidates. Anyone close to not being mad at us? 36, 40. So I guess we'll just give it to him. It's not going to bounce to green. It needs to be 60 to bounce to green. We can recruit them right back. Alrighty, that doesn't 
uh, impact as much. So Zhang Jiao's army has obviously beelined for us, uh, as most AI do, and that's fine. Uh, Zhang Bao took the iron mine, so we can take this back. So what we're going to do is let Zhang Jiao take the trade port, uh, then he'll be trapped here, and then we can annihilate him uh, inside the trade port, which is a much easier task than, to do than on open field, because he might keep his force inside while we get a full round of uh, Tribuchet to pound him down. So that's the plan. Uh, and to achieve that plan, we're going to just hide our army. Oh, sorry. Accidentally hit the wrong button. Hide army here so we get replenishment this turn. And then we'll get Guan Yu's forces here as well. And we'll just wait for them to take it. Uh, the rebellion is something I'm slightly concerned about. Uh, I don't think we'll lose the town, but we might. So I might rush the building to a small city, then it'll be much safer. We're basically stashing all this gold for no reason. We can also go for the reform I was talking about. I know we're one reform away from replenishment, but right now we might really need administrator. So if we rush it to a small city, we can get this done. And right now we're harvest season, so there's still autumn and winter left. So if we rush this now, build the next tier, and wait two turns to rush, we would only cost us another 5,000 gold, I think. So let's try that. Maybe even less, because it's five turns. All right, so we're just going to use up a bit of our gold to get an administrator out. We're going to put her as our administrator. It will also solve our food issue because she has abundance and uh, aesthetic. Um, so we're going to take another turn. So let's go here. Yeah, nothing we can build. All right, Zhang Jiao is taking the trade port. We'll let him take it. Uh, we could try to damage him a bit more though, but he will replenish quite fast. So I don't see a point. Yeah, it's not going to matter because he will replenish insanely fast. So we're just going to delegate. All right. All right. Koron got declared war on just because he's his own territory. Um, okay. First one of the warlords. Poor guy. So what's going to happen now is we're just going to fight this army. We got to fight it relatively cleanly because there's a... Uh, Zhang Bao's force right behind uh, so we'll be doing this at the beginning of next episode uh, so we're going to end our episode here we found ourselves a little home in Liaoxi uh, the event trigger didn't uh, really occur for us because I think we had to chase a few turns and I delayed uh, the event with Han Fu but looking at the map uh, it seems like the Yellow Turban Rebellion is not doing so hot uh, after we destroy Zhang Jiao it seems like they're probably going to do worse off uh, but we're going to be claiming some of these land here. Hopefully Zhang Bao's army can take down Tao Tian's land here uh, in Yozhou or else we will have to trade it uh, from Tao Tian a bit later uh, because I want to have this control of this whole north here. Uh, rest of the world, uh, Huang Shao is alive but I don't think they're doing well. Gongdu is doing really really well and um, that's why Jin, uh, Jin Xuan died. Uh, Liang Rebellion is doing okay I'm not sure if they're doing that great I'm just gonna wait till the Empire collapse uh, we're gonna just so so solidify ourselves here uh, very nice position uh, the migration factor definitely helped um, so it's not so bad we didn't get the event trigger uh, the only bad thing I want to complain about is we didn't get Zhao Yun so that's a, a bummer there uh, hopefully that will get resolved too uh, so see you all next time bye